Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to use an area model to display a product of two fractions. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, we will use models to show the product of two fractions. Up until this point, students have only had experience multiplying a fraction by a whole number. The shift to multiplying a fraction by a fraction is a new concept that can be difficult because our product is going to be a fraction of a fraction. For example, when we solve for one-fifth times two-thirds, we are trying to find out how much one-fifth of the fraction two-thirds is, which means when we multiply a fraction by a fraction, our product will be smaller because we are looking for a portion of one of the fractions. This can be a difficult concept for students to grasp because they are so used to working with whole numbers and getting a product larger than both factors when multiplying. Using the area models will help students visualize this concept. Now, let's take a look at how we can use an area model to find the product of one-fifth times two-thirds. To model this multiplication, we will start by creating a model of the second factor two-thirds. We will begin with the second factor because if you remember, we are ultimately looking to find one-fifth of two-thirds. To display two-thirds, we will make a rectangle with three columns and shade two of them. Now, on the same model, we want to show the first factor of one-fifth. To be able to tell the two apart, we will split the same model into five rows going the opposite direction as the columns. Once we have our five rows drawn, we need to model one-fifth of them. This means we will shade in one of the rows. It is important at this step that we do not shade across the entire row. We only want to find one-fifth of the already shaded part from the two-thirds. This means we will only shade over what has already been colored in in the first row. Now we can see that our model is completed and that we have some of the pieces that have been double shaded or shaded twice. This is what we will use to find our product. The first thing we need to do to find the product is to find our denominator, which is how many total pieces our entire model is cut into. If we count the five rows of three, we get 15 pieces. Next, to find our numerator, we will count up the number of pieces that have been shaded twice or where the shading overlaps. We should count up two pieces. This means our answer is two fifteenths. This means that we made a model showing both factors to show the multiplication of two fractions. To get our answer, we counted up that we had shaded two of 15 parts to model one-fifth of the existing two-thirds. Remember, it can be a difficult concept for students to grasp that the product of two fractions turns out smaller than either of the factors. It is important to continue to stress that when multiplying fractions, we are aiming to find a fractional part of what is already a fractional part. Basically, we are looking for part of a part. Remind students that they are only looking for a part of what has already been shaded, not part of the whole model. You can also encourage students to use two different colors to make their models to really make the pieces that are double shaded stand out. Another common error that can occur is that students will correctly model the problem, however, they may find the incorrect product based on the model. For example, a student may say the product of one-fifth times two-thirds is two-tenths because they only counted the total shaded squares to find the denominator instead of all of the squares in the model. To address this error, explain to students that the entire model equals a whole 
In this case, our model is made up of 15 whole pieces. The denominator of any fraction should always represent the number of pieces our whole is cut into. Therefore, our denominator should be 15. For more practice with modeling fraction multiplication of a fraction by a whole number, revisit the lessons, identify a fractional part of a group, and use a model to find a fractional part of a product. Looking ahead, we will learn to multiply two fractions without using a model in the lesson Multiply Fractions. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the Multiply with Fractions set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.